Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, uh, a tree using 3ds Max and Photoshop. Um, this is my first tutorial so please bear with me. Uh, I'll teach you how to do trees using alphas, um, texture maps, everything like that. Uh, also be doing like a little bit of unwrapping. It'll show you just how to make a basic tree uh, without using the presets in 3ds Max because for whatever reason you may not like them or they may be a very high poly count or something like that. Alright, so pretty much anyway, I'm going to get you to this first step here where you build your own tree trunk. Um, in order to do that, you would go to your splines here. Then you would go to the splines tab. Uh, then you're going to want to click on line. Um, once you have that done, you would want to you can hit Alt W to open up the four window tabs in 3ds Max. Um, if you can, try to build the spline on the left or the front wireframe. Um, when you click the line tool, you can build like this here and get you a something that will resemble a tree trunk. This is not what you're going to use to. Um, make the tree trunk, you're actually going to want to build a cylinder. Um, once you get finished making that line there, then you would go over to the cylinder tab and make a cylinder. You can do that in the orthographic view. Um, the cylinder that I'm making is 18 sided. Um, a little trick that you can also do as well that I'll show you here is you could turn the sides now from 18 sides to 8 sides. Um, whether you render it out, this here is 8 sides, this here is 18 sides. It's not really a substantial difference, but if you're looking at it straight from the side, you can't really tell the difference. Um, it's really helpful if you're trying to build low poly polygon trees. Then, once you do that, um, go to your modifiers tab and go to path to form then select click the uh, the pick path tool then click on the spline that you just created um, your rectangle if it does something crazy like this here uh, it shouldn't be over that way you're going to want to hit the, uh, the little utilities tab over here and reset the X form reset selected go back over here and collapse all um, then you're going to want to move it to the path and you see how it looks like it's covering half of the uh, little spline here so from there you could just stretch it till it goes all the way up the spline like so um, then after that go over to your tools tab and take a snapshot right here uh, Make sure you turn it into a mesh and it's a single snapshot. Um, once you do this, you can move the, the one that's around the path away from it. Um, click on the, the snapshot and image that you just made. It's going to be a mesh, so you're going to have to turn it into an edible body later. Delete the spline here. Then delete this cylinder. That way you can move this. Um, if you, if you would have used the spline one, you couldn't have moved it because it's, it's only going to be around the path and if you take it away from the path it's going to uh, mess up. You can't even uh, move the spline and move it at the same time. It's just it's a really big hassle. The snapshot saves you a, a bunch of hair pulling. Then just turn it into an editable poly and from there just use a taper modifier on it. Um, pull the amount of the Make sure you're on the right axis here. Let me see. I have to find my axis. For me, let's see here. <laughs> there we go. See, I might just limit the effect actually. Um, couldn't really find it. that 
and click on this top top face that you have here and pull this in then you're going to want to delete the top and the bottom face so I delete those uh, go over to the unwrap UVW tool in the modifiers list open your UV map um, oh, before you do that to make sure that you're out of the out of the selection tool you don't want to have any of these selected or you won't see your UV map um, open your UV editor and you see how it's a it looks like it's already unwrapped it appears but in the event that you needed it to be unwrapped somewhere else I'll show you how to do that um, pretty much just click on the uh, the point to point seams um, in your peel area over there in the unwrap tools then click from here to say here uh, you ideally will want to hide your seams on a model um, any way that you can uh, I'll just put them on the back for now then uh, go over to your pelt map tool make sure you got it selected to select the uh, in the edit UVs tab um, turn on the uh, select by element UV toggle and the polygon tool then uh, pelt map and start the pelt then it'll pelt from your scene then hit the, uh, the relax button there you go that looks more like how your model looks um, and just put, place it inside of the, the UV area here. Um, then just collapse off. And that's that's going to be like a stunt that you could do for like your, your tree getting it ready. In the uh, part two of the video, I'll show you how to texture the trunk and get ready to make your uh, your branches and your leaves and everything for the actual tree. Alright, thanks for watching.